Why hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. So I was just looking at here how much time we have. We have a thing to do here with Kafei and we have something to do with Kremia at 1800. So we have approximately 12 hours to do what we need to do today. Don't worry, that's gonna be enough to beat the water temple. And um, that is including the third day. That's gonna be enough. So, anyway, today we need to go in this general direction. Because we are looking for eggs. We still don't really know what for, because I haven't talked to the correct persons. We haven't even met most of them yet, but I heard something, but we entered the loading zone too quickly. Now this place. I'm gonna go tackle this slow and underwater and walking. There are two ways to get, get through this thing. Way A, use the seahorse here, and it will show you to way, the way to its home. Way B, follow the arrows. They all should be saying the same thing. That arrow is fake. You want to follow this one. If you get off course, you will get swept away. Ah, that's a long stretch. Align yourself perfectly with the arrow, otherwise you won't make it. Um, this is pretty much like the desert in Ocarina of Time. Have you made it? No. That last one tricked us. Oh well. Don't target the thing. Link, you fool. So, let's see here if we can't do this better one more time. Ah, it's raining outside. Um, in game. <laughs> Not over here. That's why the water seems to be getting a little bit murkier. Now we should have made it. Oh, yeah. Well, now you've seen what happens if you do the thing. So, now that we are in here, in this massive place, it is quite huge. We have these guys. Best way to deal with them is like so, in my opinion. If you have a better idea, feel free to apply that. Anyway, in some of these holes, there will be Zora eggs. I get easily lost in this place because it's so huge and looks all the same or everywhere. Well, what was that? See, and then that happens. So if you need to refill on magic, I believe you can get it from some of these pots. In some of the holes there will also be treasure chests with 20 rupees. Woohoo. Anyway, the way I like to clear this place out is from top to bottom. Kind of like a staircase. Well. Well. <laughs> Um, yeah, 
pretty much from top to bottom. Clear both holes that are across of each other. Go to the next one down. And so on. And so forth. It might be a nice idea to have some Chateau Romani here. Or drink it before you get in the water, actually. By the way, um, as for keeping still that the chest with 20 rupees, I wager. Yay! I don't think I'm gonna get the other one. Because rupees, really, I have no use for them. Oh well. Yeah, yeah, you're big and mean. And I am lost. At least you seem to be able to come out of there quickly. We usually see the egg from the entrance. It's a glowing thing in the middle. And the final hole seems to be here. Die already. Stupid thing. I appear to have missed the egg. Good job. Well, I'm gonna check that out once I have dealt with this guy. I don't think there is gonna be an egg here though. Oh, there is. Well, well. Look at that, we have all of the Zora eggs. And there's this seahorsey here. Cool. Well, that's why I haven't been using the seahorse yet. Because this other one wants his friend. Oh wow, and we even get more life out of it. So now we need to return to the laboratory. Hmm. And I'm not going to cut this trip out because there's someone I wish to talk to on the way. Whoever could that be? Also, look at this. The water is so murky, even if you jump across the surface, you get lost and get swept back to the entrance. Which is incidentally where I wanted to go. So there's that. Oh, hey! Oh, gold colored. Well, if you're not stupid, you don't have to rely on the gold colored fish. Dear Zora. Earlier when we were entering the Pinnacle Rock area, which is where we are coming from now, I said I heard something splish out of the water or something along those lines. And that was that Zora. Anyway. We now have assembled all the eggs. Whatever is going to happen. Why can't they hatch? It doesn't make any biological sense, but... Oh, well. Hmm. 
In case you missed the last episodes for whatever reason, which I cannot imagine, um, the four eggs that were already in there we got from the pirate fortress. Oh, yeah. Why? Why, old man? Whatever could it mean? It means they are autistic from birth. Well, snap. No, of course, you should be able to figure that out. Um. Hello? Well, that's awkward. You expect me to... Yes, I do. Ah, that's the hitbox for the thing. Never expect me to play the notes like that. <laughs> Yay! Huh. Let's not argue about the story right now. Let's just go and do our thing. That seems like the smart thing to do. So, something I haven't shown you all yet. There is rather inconspicuous a hole here that leads to... Um... Ooh, Zora Hall and the Indigo Ghost. There are still these guys, and I think this is actually the place where you can um, easiest farm money in a speedrun. To do that, how did the speedrunner do it? I forget, it's been a while. Is that like here? Do something like this to hit all of them? <laughs> well, go figure. If you break it all at, them all at once, you get like a hundred rupees or fifty rupees at least. Um, otherwise, you must pay 10 rupees for each char you broke. So now, we could head out to Zora's Rock or we could do some side quests. And I'm all for side quests. Wah, go away, you big fang. Oh hey, there's a... You know what? I want to talk to this guy. They tell interesting stories, I've noticed. Who 
who is Ivan? Who is Chapas? <laughs> well, yeah. Um. In any way, we need to get up there somehow. Nope. Question is there from that platform might just work. I just need to get a little bit of distance and hope the things don't attack me. Oh, come on. So there are a couple chests here, and I believe all they contain are 20 rupees. Also, I believe we could summon the Scarecrow here. We don't need to do that, though. So, let's not. Yeah, just 20 rupees. Not interested. And that's our goal. The thing with a K. Now there is a race in here, and I'm gonna do it once on screen now on video, and once off screen to get the second reward, which is gonna be a piece of heart, if I'm not quite mistaken. Oh, come on! There's a dude up there, and I need him to go down. Apparently, I need to talk to him in order to bring him to go down. No, I just need to target him. Well, great. If you talk to certain Zoras, they will tell you, Hey, if you need bottles to store the Zora eggs in, the Beaver Brothers have some at the top of the waterfall. You look ridiculous. Who? So did Mikau just fail to negotiate or did he fail the race and not get a bottle? Hmm. That's the rules for the first race, which I'm going to show. You don't have to pass by the dude, you just have to follow him in time and get all rings. I don't think the rings will change direction. No, they will not look at you, so to speak. They. They are, in fact, three-dimensional objects. <laughs> in some games, the rings will face you, so that you can always pass through them in a certain way. And the exact course you have to go here, I believe it depends on what day it is. And whether it's nighttime or daytime, and it depends on one more thing, which I'm not going to tell you right now. But we totally got this. I mean, look at how much time I have left. However, are they gonna make that any harder for the second run? <clears throat> it was what have you been expecting Ooh. yes give me your bottles hmm 
yeah, every race com uh, um, contains two parts. First against the little brother, then against the big brother. Yeah. The rules change slightly. You have the same amount of time, you get more rings to swim through. And the course is a little bit harder. It may also change a little bit in its pathing. You see, and if you look at the map down there, which I'm not going to do, I'm busy racing. <laughs> but if you look at the map, you see there's plenty of pathways. And sometimes you go some way, sometimes you go other ways. I have never really checked it out because, well, the race is relatively easy, no matter which way you go. Then again, I failed it cu a couple times, so I have become good by training. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, the, the pathways change. You can actually see the vault sometimes. Well, not anymore. Not, uh, <laughs> we are already past all of them. Just trust me on that one. There are walls. In the way, for the ways that you're not supposed to go on that particular race day thing. Oh well. As for the second race, snap. Well, I have plenty of time, so I'm not worried. In the second race, you have much less time, and otherwise, the conditions are pretty much the same. Well, that was embarrassing, but it worked. Nope, nothing at all. Yes, yes, you did. So now they are both over there and afraid of me. Indeed, I am. Well, then give me your hearts. So I can eat them and acquire your powers. <laughs> so I'm gonna challenge them off screen, as I said. And I'll meet you back. Around here, actually, because there's one more thing in the vicinity we need to get. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Machora's Mask. This is Legion, and fare thee well.